Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations Part 44. In the previous video, we moved into the second half of the final trial. We are in the end game now. We only have, I mean, we still have a decent number of questions left in the trial, but uh, all should be revealed soon. As we keep talking to Dead Dahlia. That night... At about 9.30 p.m., I materialized into this world. 9.30 p.m. He was summoned at 9.30. So that would have been... Because we've already established that the Iris... Or they, they stated that the Iris that gave the hood to Phoenix and everything was the real Iris. I quickly pinned my hair up and put on a demon warding hood. I was then picked up by the staff that was by my I picked up the staff that was by my side and left Hazakura Temple. So it was Elise who channeled her after all. It was. Okay. So it's that's the way it's going. That ridiculous head nun never touched a thing. That does have its own bevy of questions. Um, she left Maya Fey at the inner temple and wobbled back, clutching her poor old back. What did you do then? That kid was easier to handle than I had hoped. I caught up with her in front of the stone lantern. I took out the dagger I got from the storeroom and... So, so then you... You're saying you stabbed Maya? It's strange, but... I don't have a clear memory of what happened after that. What does that mean? No clear memory? I don't know. I think... I think I was stabbed. You were stabbed. The last minute, Maya Faye must have stabbed me. I'm sure of it. Ah, uh, that doesn't sound like Maya. That's not like her at all. Maya wouldn't stab a French fry with a plastic fork. Anyway, I suddenly lost consciousness. Before I did, I scrawled her name on the lantern. Just as I was passing out, I wrote Maya behind my back. I'd hope it would cast suspicion on her. Hmm. Can't believe he was thinking of that until the bitter end. That's when my memory temporarily stops. Temporarily? It stops! I don't have any memory of actually killing my affair with my own two hands. My very last memory was. Maya's terror filled eyes. When I woke up after that. I was in the sacred cavern, surrounded by darkness. You were in the sacred cavern? The entrance was sealed with one of those trick locks. Somehow I had been trapped in there. But how did you wind up in there? That still makes it sense. Because, I mean, she would have to have been summoned again. Which makes me think that, that this could still be Maya's body in, because Maya is the only person we know that would have been in the Sacred Cavern. Because if Elise is the one who channeled her first, and we know Elise is dead, 100%, or, you know, Misty, I don't think there's a way they're going to weasel out of that. I'd like to know that myself. Anyway, I was worried. I didn't know whether or not Maya Fey was dead, and I swore I would return to the Underworld until I knew I'd killed her myself. So I'm thinking I'm still on the train that this is Maya's body. Or a ghost, you're one tough cookie. I wanted to get out of here and make sure she was dead, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't get out. The trick lock stopped you. Huh? I didn't know how to remove it. So then you're saying you were actually confined against your will inside the sacred cavern? Yes, I wanted to get rid of that annoying lock as soon as possible, but it wasn't easy. I kept getting interrupted while I was working on it. 
Interrupted? It was early in the morning, but someone came into the training hall. What? Who? Could it have been Maya? I thought the same thing, but I couldn't see. Why not? Someone had spotted me would have lost my chance to take revenge. So I made sure to hide myself well at the back of the sacred cavern. That would have been us, right? That went into the training hall? Maya and Pearls. Okay, I guess Pearls would have been there. Because I guess we didn't make it because of the morning. Uh, that timeline's all fucked. Because that would have been yesterday morning, which is when Phoenix was still in the hospital. Pearls went there to cover the hanging scroll and gravy. Because yeah, we wouldn't have gone there until like the afternoon. Still, I finally managed to remove the lock. But it was too late. What do you mean by that? The flies had already started to gather. The bridge had been fixed and the police had started their investigation, correct? Naturally, I couldn't go out. So instead, I returned to the cavern and put the lock back on myself. I realized I wouldn't get a chance to see Maya's corpse as I'd hoped. But just then, Lady Luck showed up. Lady Luck? After that big earthquake, she showed up all by herself. The real Iris? You said she'd come to make sure the sacred cabin was alright. Stupid girl. I came out from the sacred cabin and got a feel for the situation. And I locked her away in my place. I finally learned exactly what had happened. It was then that I learned the plan had actually succeeded. What do you mean your plan had succeeded? I had misunderstood one thing, you see. That night, the one that had summoned me. I had assumed that it was Pearl Fay. Well, of course you would have assumed that. It was written in the instructions. But I was wrong. The person that had actually called my spirit back was... Misty Fay, the picture book author. Wh what? That's really the only possibility, isn't it? After I lost confidence in the garden, it was her body that was left lying there. Yeah, so that... So she lost consciousness in the garden, so that would have been Misty dying. There is still the question of how the staff... Like, what? Because, like... How, I mean, maybe it's like a nitpick, but like, even if we uh, accept the pendulum thing, how does the staff get across? Because the staff is found in the inner temple. And I mean, it could be that Misty kills herself with the... Because wait, did the sword have blood on it? It doesn't. That doesn't necessarily mean anything, though. Because the sword may not have been used at all. It could just be that it's a red herring. So she could have stabbed her... Like, maybe Misty takes back control. Stabs herself. Which kind of, in effect, ruins the plan. And saves Maya. But then the question is, how does the body get across? I mean, she could have just, like, stabbed herself, and that would have canceled the summoning? And so she could have still been alive to do the pendulum shit? Which would make it a bit more plausible. Like, the idea that if she was still... Like, the pendulum stuff does seem more possible if it's, like, an actual semi-alive person doing it as compared to a dead body. 
Because if you're a real person, you could just be, instead of having it like tied around you, you could be holding on and then let go. So that would kind of fix that, you know. I mean, it's not really a plot hole per se, but it would address that issue. So I'm guessing it's that Misty summons Dahlia. Well, she learns about the plan. She knows that if she summons Dahlia, then Pearl won't be able to do it. And that she can probably, like, regain control um, over Dahlia. And then basically chooses to, like... But then there's, like, there's no reason to kill yourself. Like, there's no reason to let yourself die. Because all you have to do is just summon Dahlia, but if you're able to summon her and then regain control, then there's no need for you to kill yourself. Or let yourself die. Because you just need to block the summoning for, like, that one specific period of time. Because this is, like, their one shot to do this plan. So, I don't know. I mean, like, that kind of makes sense, but it still seems unbelievably convoluted. And, like, it doesn't really, like, address the issue of why Misty died. I wasn't able to kill with my own hands after all. But even so, I may have been the most vile sin a human can commit. And that is matricide. The sin of killing her own mother. No way! Oh, order in the court! What is the meaning to this? It's true that I was the one who attacked my F.A. But even so... The murderer who actually snuffed out Misty Faye's life was none other than your darling little Maya. I mean, that's not really like how this works. Ridiculous. That's nonsense. Are you sure about that? Just think about it. There's even evidence supporting these facts, isn't there? What? What do you mean? What is this so-called evidence? The fact that Maya Faye has disappeared is evidence enough, isn't it? Well, no. The idea that she's still in the sacred cabin is just ridiculous. She wasn't able to escape from the inner temple, that much is obvious. In that case, there's only one place that she could be. W where? Do I have to spell it out? The bottom of the Eagle River, where else? The Eagle River? Maya Faye killed her long-lost mother. Can you imagine the guilt she must have felt when she realized that? That's why she threw herself into the Eagle River. Most bodies that wind up in there are lost forever. So what do you have to say now? Beanie. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, that's me in the audience. <laughs> Oops. Uh, sorry, that's my phone. I was gonna say, cause that, that, that wasn't, uh, Phoenix's ringtone. Get, get out here. The, the blood finished being analyzed, maybe? Was it something important? No, nah, just a telemarketer. Continue on. I just finished removing the locks in the sacred cavern. That's great! What about Maya? And if they don't find her, then I'm like, I'm basically 100% sure that this is Maya. There was a woman in the cave, which would be Iris. Was it Maya Faye? It was the accused, Sister Iris. Huh? Don't look so surprised. I locked her in there yesterday. I just finished telling you that. Like, I mean, I really feel like the idea that like, they, they should really be honing in this idea of like, okay, well, who the hell is this doll? Like, Dahlia has to be a body, right? Because, I mean, it's only Maya at this point. It can only be her. So what about Maya? Where is she? Because, I mean, there was, like, some possibility that, that this could have been both the real Iris and fake Iris. Like, it could have, I mean, they've said Iris has no spirit channeling power, but that, you know... They, they could... Because it says doesn't seem to have any spiritual power, right? Because I thought there was something about, like, it didn't say it definitively. 
So like it could have been theoretically that Iris did manage to summon Dahlia and that it is both the fake and the real Iris at the same time. But uh, if Iris is the only person in the if Iris is in the cavern, there's the only person else who could summon is uh, Pearls, who we know hasn't summoned Dahlia, and so it has to be Maya. There was no one else found inside the sacred cavern. No, it can't be. I told you, didn't I? She's dead. No. Come on, Phoenix. You're, you, you should figure it out by this point. Now, then the question is, why would Maya have summoned Dahlia? Because if she didn't do it originally, like the way I hypothesized that it was like Misty got her to do it, like somehow in order to protect her, you know, protect Maya because Dahlia wouldn't because it, it's, it's been established now that like they don't know whose bodies they're in inhabiting, which is something that wasn't, I don't think, completely clear um, when it came to spirit channeling. Because, like, Dahlia has, like, both times, like, she's, she stated that she didn't know that Misty had summoned her until after the fact. So they don't know that innately. I forgot where I was going with this. And the fact that Dahlia hurt right now doesn't know that she's in Maya's body. I really, I completely forgot where I was going with this statement. I don't know. I just lost my train of thought completely. This case has come to an end. A tragic end. Sadly, it appears the killer of Elise, who is also known as Misty Fay, was her own daughter, Maya Fay. Overcome with guilt for what she had done, Maya Fay jumped to her death in the raging waters of the Eagle River. It can't be. Shrite, have you ever heard this one? Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains must be the truth. No matter how improbable it may seem. What is that supposed to mean, Prosecutor Godot? According to this witness, Maya Faith threw herself into Eagle River. However, is that really the truth? Remember, this woman testified earlier then. The bridge was already on fire when the murder taken place and the murder was taking place in the garden. Which means if Maya had thrown herself into the river. It must have been for the inner temple side, near the bridge. That's right, that's where she jumped from, but it's rocks. But that's not the contradiction. The contradiction is that Okay, who whose body is she in? <laughs> but that's impossible. It's impossible to jump into the river from there. What? Don't get your panties all twisted up, Trite. Just relax and think through the whole thing again. So it's impossible. Maya couldn't have thrown herself into Eagle River. Well, Mr. Wright! Miss Hawthorne claims Miss Faith threw herself into the river from the under temple side. Do you have any evidence? I mean, it'd be the map. Where you can see the rocks. Yeah. It's impossible to jump into the Eagle River from the Inner Temple side. No one knows that better than this witness. What did you say? Eleven years ago, you jumped into the very same river. Just take a look at this overhead map. As you can see, below the cliff on the Inner Temple side is a big rock shelf. Oh, you're right. She would have reached the river if she had jumped off from there. In other words, if she had jumped, we should be able to see her body in this photo. Huh, so you finally figured it out. You! She's been mind crushed? Order, order! You, you're just playing with me. My face body's at the bottom of Eagle River. 
There's nowhere else you could possibly be hiding. Miss Hawthorne, have you ever heard this one before? Once you eliminate the imbi- Shut the fuck up, Phoenix. <laughs> Whatever remains must be the truth. Yeah, just a few minutes ago. It's also like it's a Sherlock Holmes quote, but like, kind of said differently. Maya Faye wasn't inside the sacred cavern. We know that she didn't throw herself into the Eagle River. Correct. That eliminates all the most likely possibilities. Now, although it seems improbable, there's still one other place she could be. What? What is this one possibility you're talking about? That's obviously a bluff. So where's her dead body then? I mean, I assume I just present. Dal Dahlia? But just in case it was something weird? Because we are on like, you know, death zone territory. Finally, I think the pieces are falling into place. Normally the living have no way to punish the dead. And I think there's a way to give Dahlia Hawthorne the ultimate punishment. Did I tell you, Miss Hawthorne? Did I tell you where Maya is this very instant? Maya is in this very courtroom. There's only one possibility left. Namely, she's right here in this very courtroom. What? Maya Faye is here. You said she's here in my courtroom. Am I Maya Faye? <laughs> Dahlia Hawthorne. I seem to recall that you said... I had misunderstood one thing you see. So, so what? And don't, don't say your voice like me. That's weird. <laughs> but I think there's one thing you misunderstood. What do you mean? Tell me something. At this very moment... Who is channeling Dahlia Hawthorne? Why, that's, that's obvious. It's Pearl Fay, that pathetic little sniveling runt. You're wrong. Pearl's tried, but she couldn't do it. I've never failed at channeling someone. This is my first time it's happened. There isn't any explanation of why you couldn't channel a spirit. It could happen if someone else is already channeling the same spirit. Someone called me before Pearl did, but who? Pearl's even tried to get him the day after the crime, but she couldn't do it. What could that mean? I think the truth is coming clear to you right about now, am I correct? Some might even say, am I right? Ha ha ha! It wasn't Pearl's that channeled you. There was someone who called you before she could- I mean, do we really have to do this? It was Mia Faye. It was me! I channeled you! Phoenix Wright, the true sorcerer! This is an easy one. Pearls couldn't do it, and Misty Faye is gone. There's only one possibility left. Come on already, I can't stand the tension! Dahlia Hawthorne, the person channeling you right now must be Maya Faye! Also, if you, uh, since you're Maya, can you come over here and hit the boombox for me? Baka the bee! Remember what this witness, Dahlia Hawthorne, said about her goal! She said her goal was to kill Maya Faye. That's right! But if Maya channeled the spirit of someone that was trying to kill her... Ha ha ha! Well, Gramps, what would happen? C could it be? Looks like you finally understood, Your Honor. Well, I what are you going on about? What I'm going on about is the reason Maya channeled you. And there's only one reason. To protect herself from you. To protect herself? From me? Yes, on the night of the crime, you were only interested in one thing. Killing Maya Faye. The path back to Hazegra Temple is closed off and there was nowhere for her to run. Then the problem became... Where would be the safest place to hide? Y you mean... That's when she channeled me? All this time, you thought you'd been channeled by pearls. That's why it never occurred to you. That Maya's hiding place was you. Don't say, oh god, she's really, she's primed to be sent to the Shadow Realm. You're saying that I, Dahlia Hawthorne, was played for a fool by that little whelp? Yeah. Maya Faye killed herself, isn't that obvious? Sorry, but no. It would have been impossible for her to jump into Eagle River. This is the only avenue of escape open to Amaya. The only way that Maya could disappear from the Inner Temple. I don't believe you. Stupid little girl like that who has never been out in the real world. She could never come up with a plan like that. 
Who could have ever given her such a brilliant idea? I mean, I assume Misty. I still don't get why Misty had to die, though. I mean, we, we'd have to have more information on how the, uh, the attack went down, I guess, first. Me, of course? What? 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 I, I guess this is Pearl? Mia? Mia Fey? It's been a long time, Daya Hawthorne. So yeah, I guess she could have channeled Mia and uh, to ask for advice or something. We don't really, haven't really established how the talking between each other goes. Um, I mean, they've, they've kind of talked about it a little bit. Like, they, she can kind of talk to them when she summons them. She just sometimes, like, loses control of her... her body, I guess? Kind of like right now, like, I don't... We don't know if Maya could, like, take back over. So it's true. It was you. Yes. <laughs> There's something else. But what are you doing here? That hair. It's pearls, right? Tell me something, Dahlia. I want you to think back on that night one more time. You had just cornered Maya in the Inner Temple Garden. And then, in the final moments of the fight, you lost consciousness. I was stabbed by- so I mean, I guess if she stabbed herself... But why? <laughs> Cause like, okay, so if she's able to re retain con- like, she can regain control enough to stab herself against Dahlia's will... Why not just unsummon Dahlia? Or like, shouldn't she be strong enough as a spirit channeler to just unsummon Dahlia in the first place like, without having to stab herself? Because, I mean, yeah, they've established that Maya isn't really able to do it, but that's because, you know, she's still inexperienced. Actually, Maya lost consciousness at the same time as you. She did. Not terribly surprising, since she was about to be killed. When she woke up, she was in the training hall. That's when Maya decided she needed help. She also, she channeled me. She explained in a memo the situation she was in. She asked me what I thought she should do. Okay, so she used to write stuff down, so they can't, like, talk telepathically. She did that? I can't believe it. Because it's like, she says that once they unsummon, she remembers everything, right? That seems kind of familiar. Of course, I didn't have all the details, but one thing was perfectly clear. And that was? I knew that you couldn't be allowed to wander free. Free? What do you mean? It was a race against time, so I wrote down two things that Maya had to do. Channel Dahlia Hawthorne as soon as possible, and lock herself in the sacred cavern until help arrived. It was Maya who put that lock on there. Well, you're telling me Maya could do spirit locks? Then why the hell is we, were we getting robbed all the time? But why did you order the herd to do those two things? If she hadn't done it, Dahlia Hawthorne would have been channeled by someone else. By one Pearl Fay. Pearls? Yes, Pearl didn't properly understand the plan, so all she was trying to do was follow her mother, Morgan Fay's instructions. Well, like, you shouldn't know that. Because the only information you should have is that Dahlia Hawthorne tried to stab Maya. Who Maya shouldn't even know who Dahlia Hawthorne is, now that I think about it. Like, is she, like as far as Maya is concerned, it's just some random lady just tried to stab her. And then she fainted. And then she woke up. In the cavern. Or in the inner temple. I mean, I guess... Well, no, because I mean, she wouldn't have been able to describe what the lady looked like. Like, I doubt, you know, she would have given a detailed enough description for Mia to be like, Oh yeah, that's Dahlia Hawthorne, the lady who's supposed to be dead. Slash in prison. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't make any sense at all. If she had succeeded in channeling Dahlia Hawthorne's spirit, things would have turned out very badly, to put it mildly. Because it makes more sense for Misty to have explained it or something. 
rather than Mia? Because Maya has, like, no clue of the grander plan here, so she couldn't have explained it to Mia. It's so, like, the idea that pearls would have been involved, the idea, like, even the... The fact that there's a letter with instructions to Pearls, like, all Maya would know is that some lady just tried to stab her, and then she fainted, and she woke up somewhere else. And that she can't leave the inner temple. That's basically all the information she would have. So that's how it was. Jalaya Hawthorne would have used the body of Pearl Fay to kill Maya at all costs. Certainly sounds like that was the intent all along. Because, I mean, it just it does just make more sense for Misty to explain it somehow. Because, like, Misty seems to have the full idea of the plan. How dare you? I, I won't forget this. I mean, unless... I guess it's possible Maya could have found the burnt instructions? Since they were at the Inner Temple? No, they didn't say that, but... Oh, no, no, it did say they were open once before, right? But no, 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 that would have been before they were burned. Because they were open once before they got to Pearl, which that was probably Misty. Maybe. Yeah, because the, the letter came from the house, and it's possible that Misty has, you know, gone by in there and seen it. Because she would have maybe known where Morgan would have hidden, uh, hidden stuff. So that's probably how Misty knows the plan. And was able to intervene in, like, the weirdest, most convoluted way possible. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of, I guess it's maybe a nip it, but like, yeah, there's no way Mia should have been able to tell Maya what to do here. How do you all forget this? I want to just admit it, Dahlia Hawthorne. The little plan was nothing but a big failure. Yes, another failure to add to the pile of shame, wouldn't you say? What do you mean by another? Think about it, Dahlia. All your past crimes? Not a single one of them was a success. The hall ended in failure. What? How dare you? Eleven years ago. I mean, that one pretty much succeeded. The fake kidnapping, your very first crime. You got your hands on a two million dollar diamond, but... After Terry Falls escaped and went to meet with Val Valerie Hawthorne, truth was exposed. Yeah, but that was like a separate failure. Like, I would say the diamond heist went pretty well. I mean, they fucked over Terry and made off with the loot. Shut your mouth, that wasn't my fault. It was because of that stupid oath of a prisoner and the wakeling of a policewoman. And then one year later, she tried to kill- and plus, I mean, it, it definitely worked out because she didn't get convicted of the Terry Falls stuff. Like, Terry killed himself because he's like an idiot. He like, I mean, he's like an idiot pedophile. You tried to kill me. Well, I'm still alive, but... You wound up killing someone else. As a result, you were sentenced to death. It's one stupid move after another for you, but it's no longer funny. You wipe that smug, happy-go-lucky smile off your face. And now this? You've messed up again. You let Maya Faye escape? Even though she was right there in front of you. Okay, this, this is not here right without any, any music. <laughs> It just, it, it, it doesn't work. You can't do this screen with no music. M Mia Faye? Mia Faye? Mia Faye? You, you spinster. Wow, the, bringing out the big words. I was supposed to kill Maya Faye like I swore I would. If only you had, and if only you had gotten the spiky hair jerk the guilty verdict. I wouldn't have been hanged to death. True. But I think you finally understand, Dahlia Hawthorne. You will never defeat me. What? What did you say? Whether you're alive, dead, or somewhere in between, you will never defeat me. 
long as I'm around, you're destined to lose for all of eternity. I mean, she won the first case. I mean, not the first, the fourth case, which is first canonically. Like, Dahlia made out like a fucking bandit there. She did lose the Phoenix case, though, definitely. And she's lost here, but like, let's not pretend that she didn't win the Terry stuff. She won that shit easily. I remember what you said earlier in the trial. You said there was no way we could punish you because you were already dead. What about it? Then you said, even when the body dies, the spirit, the ego, it lives on forever. That's very true, Dahlia. That's exactly the punishment you'll never be able to escape from. For all of eternity, you'll have to remain as Dahlia Hawthorne, a miserable, pathetic, weak creature who can never win at anything. And for you, there is no escape from that, no hope of freedom. Since the day you were executed, the narrow bridge that once stretched out in front of you has burnt to a crisp. And also, Dahlia never got uh, convicted of killing that police officer or whatever. That was kind of like brought up and has never really been addressed again. Like the whole reason she had to give the poison to Phoenix in the first place. Right, because I mean, they said something about it being a police officer. So I don't think that was actually supposed to be Terry who died. That was because they said, like, she was being interviewed by a police officer for questioning, and then that person mysteriously died. And, you know, the it was never directly stated, but, you know, it's implied that she poisoned him. You, you, you're wrong. It, it can't be. So, I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't buy this whole Dahlia never wins. Like, she, she's won a few times. How could I lose to the likes of you? I mean, she, she's, you know, lost when it, when it matters, I guess, but... Or, like, I guess the way Dahlia's game works is that you, if you lose once, you're fucked. I guess that's the way murder goes. It no longer matters. I don't care whether you win or lose anymore. The only thing I want... is for you to come out of Maya's body right now. Well, don't, don't do it just yet. Well... Because we still have no clue what happened to Misty. Like, do we need to, like, summon Misty? Oh, is this where we enter into our JRPG final boss fight? I'm not ready. Not ready to go. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Oh, where's the deal? Where's Iris's hood? I thought we were going to use Iris's hood or something, because she's an evil spirit. Now then, I assume you are the real Iris? Yes, yeah, so maybe Iris should maybe know Misty stuff then. Because it's possible if Misty was still alive, then she could have explained everything to Iris, like what happened. Because I was kind of like wondering, because someone has to explain what the hell happened to the garden. And if Dahlia fainted and Maya fainted. I was just rescued from the sacred cavern. I must say, you and your twin sister are indeed identical from what I can see. In any case, it appears that everything has finally been cleared up. Mr. Godot, what happened to Dahlia Hawthorne? Yes, me, your honor. Looks like she went back to the hell she came from. Seems that Misty Fay wasn't the only victim of this crime, and I'm still guessing that the person who was poisoned was Godot? But no, they said he died. But I guess Godot also says he's died. So maybe she did fail there, if she didn't actually kill Godot. But she did escape the questioning. So, I don't know. I think Dahlia still wins that one. Seems that Misty Fay wasn't the only victim in this crime. Maya Fay, as well as young Pearl Fay, were also victims of this wicked and selfish plan. Y yes, Your Honor. 
tragedy of Medium Valley has finally come to an end, it seems. It would be best for everyone if no further attempt was made to channel that spirit again. Um, Your Honor. What is it? Not this whole spirit medium thing. It's almost weird how comfortable you seem to be with the concept now. Well, to be frank, my younger brother is quite judgmental. He often criticizes me for not studying hard enough. That's why I made a concentrated effort to study up on the Korean channeling technique. Isn't that the New Year issue of Occult? I've seen quite a few things in my many years on the bench. And in all that time, I finally learned this one thing. Each case is different, and it takes place in its own world, if you will. In order to fully understand the, that world, first we have to immerse ourselves in it completely. And that's where my brother and I used to differ. Huh, never thought of it that way. That's kind of a cool moment. At any rate, it's time to pass judgment on the case of Iris of Hazuka or Tempo. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we have to clear up the Misty thing or else Maya is still technically the murderer. Or something. Like, we, we still don't know who killed Misty, I guess. Because, I mean, we, well, we know it's not Maya because it's been established that she fainted as soon as the attack happened. But we haven't officially established that Misty killed herself. You're a little fast without a gavel, Your Honor. What do you mean by that, Mr. Godot? This trial, it isn't over yet. That's what he means. What? Trite? Remember what Miss Evil Spirit said in her testimony? Huh? Dahlia's testimony? Who the hell's Dahlia? She's already been erased from the record. I got up with her on the foot front of the stone lantern. I'm gonna check out the dagger I got from the storeroom and... Strange, but... I don't have any clear memory of what happened after that. I think... I think I was stabbed. Just as Dahlia Hawthorne was about to attack Maya, she was stabbed and killed by someone. And we'll... we'll learn who that some... I mean, it can only be Misty, but... We, we still don't really know the answer to why Misty had to kill herself, uh, Just yet. But we will learn that in next time, which could be the finale? Next time would be part 45. We might go, I mean, as long as it's under two hours, next video will probably be the finale. I mean, it's, I assume the game will end in the next two hours. Yeah, we'll probably, probably have like a very long finale just to make sure we finish it next time. I'm ExtraTreasy87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.